major league record for strikeouts in a game with 20 strikeouts. Randy Johnson, Kerry Wood, Roger Clemens, and now Max Scherzer are the only pitchers in the history of this game to fan 20 in a game. That is cranked. Deep left. Gardner leaps. Did he grab it? He did! Oh, what a grab by Brett Gardner to rob C.J. Crone of a long ball. Wow. You bet you, Tyler Clifford. Here's the 0-2. Swung on. There goes the deep left. It is high. It is far. It is gone. He's done it again. It's unbelievable. He's done it again. I have run out of superlatives. He is the Santino. Gary is <laughs> scary. He hits another home run, and the Yankees have an 8 4. From the borough of Queens in Flushing, New York, welcome to beautiful City Field. Tonight we wrap up this three game series between the Philadelphia Phillies and the New York Mets. It's Mets baseball next on the show. Rafael Montero will do the pitching in game three of the series. HR what's the word on him. Well Matt he got his season off to a pretty good start. He got a win his last outing his first outing of the year. And now he's going for number two. Let's see if he can back it up with back to back good performances. Settling in now, Cesar Hernandez. He brings an average in the 260s into this one. Swing and a liner. But there to spear this one is right. Looked like self defense that time, one away. Time now for a glance at the Phillies batting order in this one. What's this lineup have to do tonight in order to get a W here on the road, HR? Well, in this day and age, when so many teams are relying on that long ball to win games for them, this isn't one of those clubs, really. They're in the bottom third in the league in home runs, so they're going to put the ball in play. They're going to try to manufacture runs. They can run into one every now and then, but that's not the key part of their offense. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. Weather shouldn't be much of a factor. 71 degrees here at game time. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Hit to third. Throw on to first, two gone. Batting third, center fielder. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera, currently with the third best home run total on the ball club. Here it comes on one and one. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. HR, these Mets as they enter play here tonight. They've been in a night. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there. And you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Here's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. Here's a swing and a high pop up. And Garno will make the catch and that ends the inning. So a rather pedestrian start to the top half of the first. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Vince Velasquez gets the assignment for the rubber match in this series. What do you have for us on him, H? Well, I love watching this guy pitch, and particularly when he's got runners in scoring position. He's a guy that gets better when he has runners on base. So I'm looking forward to seeing if he gets in a jam. What does he do to get out of these jams where his numbers look so good with runners in scoring position? And here's the former first round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Now a ball sprayed foul into the seats near third.
drilled on the ground is short. Galvis has it. Throws in time, and that's out number one. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Well, Michael Conforto has been a big piece for them. He comes into this one having taken the starter deep in three prior at bats. That's a pretty good indicator that he likes facing this guy, and he sees the ball well out of his hand. He could be in for a big game. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Gavin Cicchini. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Here's the one and one delivery. Looks at a changeup that catches the corner. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Line drive to center field. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Well, that's a nice base hit right there, but it means more than just a nice base hit. The leadoff guy didn't get going, but now here comes the thunder with a man on base. This is when big innings happen. Into the box, Michael Conforto. He comes in currently second on the team in home runs. Runners on first with one down. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. These Phillies, Harold, as they enter play here tonight, they come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. And, Matt, you always want to win two of the three games. I mean, today is a big game because you walk away and you start adding up those numbers in the series. You go, we won two out of three there. That's the goal for every team, to win two out of three in the series. Stepping up to the plate, Joanna Cespedes. And as the season nears an end, he currently leads the league and runs batted in. Working for the punch out and the offering. Hot shot on the ground is short. And a backhanded try into the hole that's short, but this gets on by. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. Well, nice job right there. He comes through with the RBI base hit, and now his side has the lead. Third baseman. Right. In now, David Wright, line towards center field. Pereira is there now, and he has it, two gone. At the plate, Wilmer Flores. As you get a look at his current righty-lefty splits entering play in this one. Spin and a throw back to second. Two men are on with two men out. Down low, two balls and a strike. Boy, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch takes a knee-high fastball. The 2-2 pitch shoots this one over to first. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. And the runner stuck in a pickle between third base and home. And he'll try to get back now, but it's not going to work. The throw hangs him out to dry, and that'll end the inning. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. We'll move ahead to the top of the second now. It's the Mets one, and the Phillies nothing. And that'll bring in Tommy Joseph. It's been a big season for him in the power department, closing in on a home run title. Into his motion, here comes the three and one. Smoke toward the hole, and a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. That ball's right in his wheelhouse. You may as well take out a tee, set the ball right there, and say, hit it as hard as you can, because that's what he did.
stepping in now. Chris Coughlin. Called strike in a dangerous location there, one and two. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. A runner at first with no outs here. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away, but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. Swing, and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. A oh, double play ball to second. Four, six, three, and they turn the double play. Made him throw a lot of pitches in that at bat, but he'll take the double play as a trade off for sure. Digging in, Howie Kendrick. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Hey. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Kendrick waiting, now the pitch. Towards second. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. One hits all they get. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. It's the Mets one and the Phillies nothing. Here's the catcher Travis Darno. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Well, he clearly read the scouting report. This guy's been sizzling hot, and look at how careful he's been pitching him. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Kendrick going back on it. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the Time inning. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Phillies. And I'm looking at third base at Michael Franco. Talk about making plays. He can come in, make the bare hand. He dives to his left and right, and a tremendous arm to complete the play. This kid's special. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. And he is proving to be something of a non-threat with a bat in his hands this year. The average isn't pretty. And now a pitch on the way. Line to the right side. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Well, that's what you call getting on top of one. High fastball, and he was able to stay with it and just slap it the other way for a hit. Etcher, Rafael Montero. Standing in now, Rafael Montero. And this is scooped away and stays foul. So now the question becomes what to do with two strikes. Stay clear of the, DP. the one two pitch. He's running towards second. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. Only plays to first so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. Riding in once again. Brandon Nimmo. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. We're in the second, 1-0 Mets early on. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Ready to deliver the one and two. And a fastball just a bit high. 34 pitches for him through an inning and two thirds right now. That's not terrible, but it's a lot higher than he'd like. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Line drive, snagged on a short hop. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Mets leave one. We play two innings. It's one to nothing. Digging in the switch hitter, Freddie Galvis. 
Seven eight nine bottom of the order set to go here in the third. Fastball called strike one and two. Pitch on the way. In tight with the slider two and two. There's that tight slider right there just missed getting under the hands. That's a good pitch. I like that pitch. But if you don't get it where you want it it could be a dangerous pitch to throw. The two two one more time. Again he sends it out of play. Another try at two two. And a slider. Oh, got a favorable call on that one as that's the first out of the inning. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. Into the box now, Ryan Hennigan. Sliced hard but foul. Look out over there. One and two, here it comes. And another foul ball. A ball and two strikes, here's the pitch. And this is fouled at the plate. Skied into straightaway right. Cespedes is there. And he makes the catch for the second out. At the plate, Vince Velasquez, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit hard on the ground at third. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Phillies down in order. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Gavin Cicchini. He'll lead it off against Vince Velasquez. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. Here he comes again, one, two. Chopped weakly to the left. No problem here, one away. Digging in for his second at bat, Michael Conforto. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And this is down at the knees, but called a strike. Wow, it's three and two now. Now here's the pitch. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Coglin is under it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now batting. Digging in to try it again. Joanna Cespedes. He singled his last time up. Two out, nobody on. Called strike that time, and it's even at two and two. Fly ball out toward left center field. Kendrick. On the move, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Mets, but they're up one to nothing. Ready for another chance? Cesar Hernandez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. In front of the changeup there is this is chopped foul at home plate. Now another 2-2. Two, two. Got him. Hey. I'll tell you right now, this guy has a shutout going, and it's been all business. He's not There's messing around seven. trying to pick at corners. He's Mike being Gallo. aggressive in the zone, Marco. and he's attacking each and every one of these hitters up to this point. No runs, just one hit, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now. One and two here it comes. 
turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Well, when you're hitting with two strikes, you're just in battle mode. Right there, he gets a breaking ball. He just fouled it off. Got a piece of it and stays alive. Nimmo is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Center fielder. Into the box now, Odubel Herrera. And Dan, it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Two and two count, here it comes. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. It remains one nothing. Now at the plate, David Wright comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Coglin is after it. He's through first and hustling for second. And a high bounce will take it over the outfield wall, and he kicks off the inning with a ground rule double. Now at the plate, Wilmer Flores. Runner in scoring position here already following the ground rule double. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Now a curveball's in there. One and two now. That pitch right there just locked him up. A curveball that doesn't break. A little front door curveball. You're looking for it to go back out over the plate, and it doesn't. It just locks you up as a hitter. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Grounded to third. Bronco fields it cleanly. And a rather easy first out. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. 0 oh, for 1 for him here in this one. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Takes a curveball right on the corner. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Coglin moving to his left. He's got it, and there are two down now. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Ready now, TJ Rivera. He reached on a single in his first try. One run, five hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Looks at a slider over the outer half for strike two. A ball and two strikes. Here it is. Back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Right. Rounds the corner and is headed home. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Cardinal sin, Cardinal sin. You got an open base 50. with the pitcher on the on deck Rafael circle, and you Montero. let him get a base hit. That just can't happen. Into the box, Rafael Montero. In there, one and two now. Well, you can't fall back any further. This team they're playing right now is just too good. They're one of the best teams in the league, and they capitalize on mistakes. You got to get out of this inning if you want to have a chance to win this game. The one and two pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. That is a big hit right there. When you can help yourself out, a little two out base hit, extends the inning, brings the top of the order up now.
stepping in now. Brandon Nimmo. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Hit out towards second. He's got it. Throw on to first gets him, and the side is retired. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. We played four full. It's the Mets two, and the Phillies nothing. Stepping into the box, Tommy Joseph. He'll start off the fifth in this one. And it looks now like a right hander's begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. And the changeup is way low that time. Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Been a while since they've even had a runner on. So I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen. Drop a bunt, get up on the plate, something. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Swing and a little blooper to center. Conforto sprinting after it. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. An early look at the line score here tonight as we play the top of the fifth. And boy, just one lone hit for the visitors this evening as they've been taken to task by this starter. So striding forward now, Chris Coglin. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready on 1 and 2. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. One of the big advantages to pitching ahead in the count if you're a pitcher, because you have to cover both pitches if you're a hitter. You have to cover the off speed and the fastball. And in a one two count, you might be sitting off speed. And what happens? He gets the fastball, and he can't catch up to the express. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line, that's going to be a fair ball. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Finally a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of role they could get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. Oh, good action on the two seamer there and it's one and two. Boy, Matt, he's in some kind of groove, and they better get something working. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Danger averted following the two-out double. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. Ready once again, Gavin Cicchini. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. And he misses two and one. Heading out towards shallow right. Coglin is under it, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Digging in once again, Michael Conforto comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. One out, nobody on. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. In time to first, and there are two away. Now batting. Right Here's Yuana Cespedes. Yo, One for two on his line so far in the game. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Nope. And he lays off for a ball, 2-1. Two two as long as you actually get it inside, that two-seam fastball running towards the hands is a really good pitch. And a curveball drops in on 2-1, two, 2-2 two and two now. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have to. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Mets go down 1-2-3. Two, They're up 2 to nothing. 
Ansel Robles is on his way now into the ball game the now as he'll be making his 50th appearance of the year. Ansel Robles. Digging in to try it again, Ryan Hennigan. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot there for Ryan Hannigan. His first home run of the season. And the Phillies have cut the lead in half. It's now a 2-1 game. Well, the skipper called on him for a reason, and I can guarantee you one thing. That was not what he had in mind. First pitch, and it was out of here. That's a rough way to start your day at the office as a reliever. Andres Blanco will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number four, Andres Blanco. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. That's that controversial pitch right there. It's in the zone, should be called a strike by the book, but it's not a strike in baseball, not in the big leagues anyway. Base is empty here with nobody out. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Cespedes is there. One down. Now batting. Ready for another chance. Cesar, Cesar Hernandez. Hernandez. One run in and one gone so far this inning. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. This is on the ground over to first. And a step on first himself for the out. Third baseman number seven, Michael. Striding in once again, Michael Franco. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Looks like a left hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. But the Phils draw a bit closer thanks to this solo home run. On to the bottom of the sixth. It's the Mets two and the Phillies one. Your attention, please. Now Called to the bullpen here is the hard throwing right hander Joaquin Benoit Joaquin gets the assignment. Benoit. Digging in and looking for more, David Wright. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Swing and a liner, but foul. Ooh, that was a good pitch to hit. He wants that one back. He was just a little bit late on it. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Another full count pitch home. Sent on the ground out to second. One away. Number four, Stepping in and ready for another Wilmer. shot, Wilmer Flores. Previous meetings with Joaquin Benoit, hitless in three at bats. Now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right hander begins to crank it up out there. A swing and a shot hit down the corner, and that's off the left field wall. He just sports that ball off the wall, and now the question will be, should he have continued on or not? He thought about pushing it, I'm sure, but decided to play it safe. It would have been close, but I think this time he's probably right in staying at first. Digging in once again, Travis Darno. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Low scoring game thus far, 2 to 1 here in the sixth. Oh, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. Oh. 
He's set and the one two pitch. And that misses two and two. That's some good hitting right there. Great eyes. I mean to recognize that and lay off it right now. That, that was nice. All even at two and two. Here it is. And he'll stay alive here but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate and the count holds it two and two. He's set. Here's the two two. Drilled right back up the middle. That's through when he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. And now this is bobbled out in center. Well, that base hit right there extends the streak to 10 games. When you start getting hits over 10 games, you've been pretty consistent over the last two series you've been playing. Really good ball right now. In now, T.J. Rivera. And that is through into center field, a base hit. Throw comes in quickly here, and that'll prevent the runner at third from testing things here. Well, that's a well, line drive single, but the runner's not going to score. Now, remember, with less than two outs, he had to freeze. Hit it a little bit too hard at the wrong guy. He'll take the hit, but no RBI. Jose Reyes will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number seven, Jose Reyes. Bases are loaded here, one man out. Swing and a liner. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. One run scores. And here's the former first round draft choice Brandon Nimmo. He was a ground out victim last time up. He's set. Here comes the one one. Two and one. Matt I just think he's pitching scared. Look he's getting hit a little bit and now he's falling behind another hitter. Challenge somebody. He's set and the two one pitch. A changeup over the inside corner. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Well, Matt, I think a lot of that depends on the type of pitcher that you are. If you're a power pitcher, you can go ahead and ride a fastball up in the zone, but if you're a guy that induces a lot of ground balls with a sinker, I think you have to stick with that plan. Back to back changeups and fouled that one off right there. I don't think he's going to come back with the third one. I got to be thinking some other pitch is coming. Catch is made. Runner tagging from third. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. And it's a four to one game. Well that wasn't your standard sack fly hit. It was hit pretty low and hard so it wasn't a given they were going to send it. But they did and they add a number to the run column. Hoping to limit the damage here's the pitch. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Benoit's ready. 1 2 on its way. Hit in the air out to left. Kendrick is in pursuit. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors, and a couple of men left on. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Mets four, and the Phillies one. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Your Josh Hedgen is on to pitch from the bullpen the now to start inning number, number seven. Edgen. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two smoke on the ground left side and it's through for a base hit. They'll have the leadoff man aboard to start the inning. So it's a leadoff knock to start out the inning as they'll try to now claw batting. back at that First three run play. deficit. Tommy Joseph. Ready once again Tommy Joseph. 
a hit in two tries so far. They're gonna hit front. Here's the 1-1. One, one. On a rope to the second baseman. Throw to the bag. Not in time to double off the runner. The right fielder number six. Ready for another shot now. Chris Coughlin. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. And the pitch on 2 and 1. Pitch outside the throw. Ball's there and he is out. Good throw. Wow, that's a big time throw right there. And it's a tall task to throw him out stealing a bag. But he got rid of it quickly, and it was a good job down there applying the quick tag. They'll have to feel good about that one. We're in the seventh now. Four to one, our score to this point. Now a ball hit fouled off to the right and up into the crowd. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. He'll try it again, three and two. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Another payoff pitch. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. Down quickly go the Phillies. They trail it four to one. Michael Marriott gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Michael Marriott. Coming to the plate now, Michael Conforto. He's 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. Outside, 2 and 1. Well, it's 2 and 1 now, and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet. As a hitter, you've probably got to sit on that right now. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Two and two count. Here it comes. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Out of here. A solo shot and they add another. So a solo shot here to left center field and even 20 home runs for him now thus far as they stretch the lead to 5-1. Yeah, it's a long season with a lot of peaks and valleys, but he's getting hot here in September. That bodes well for him and his team as things crank up in October. We'll see if he can stay hot when it matters the most. Into the box now, Yoenis Cespedes. Here's a high pop-up. Galvis is there for it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Third baseman, number five. Now at the plate, David, David Wright. Wright. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1. Takes a knee high fastball. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? I think one of the keys, Matt, you want to try to initiate contact. But one thing you don't want to do, you don't want to run the count for three balls and two strikes. Whatever you want to throw, throw it over for a strike. Striding into the box, Wilmer Flores. He's two for three thus far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Boy, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, you have to make sure it's up above the zone like that. He can't do a whole lot with that, but if it were a little lower, he can and will make you pay big time. Well, he gave up that leadoff home run, and I thought, uh oh, he's in trouble, but he's done a nice job bouncing back. Got two quick outs. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. But the Mets are able to tack on one thanks to the solo homer. We'll march on to the eighth. It's now five to one. Robert Gesellman 
been summoned now from the bullpen the as he'll do so to start Number the eight. Robert the Salmon. Here's Howie Kendrick, one for two with a double on the ledger so far. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Oh, that'll make you smile as a pitcher. You make a good pitch, you, you blow the guy's bat up, and then you make the play yourself. In your head, you're thinking, nice swing, me. Standing in now, Freddie Galvis. Now a bunt attempt here. And he'll beat the throw as he's got himself a bunt single. And hold on a minute now. It looks like we may see that last call challenged here. The call on the field was safe, but it was definitely a bang-bang play and tough for us to tell at full speed. Here's another look at it now. I couldn't really tell when I saw it at full speed. And I'll tell you what, it's still not clear to me from that replay. We'll see if they decide to challenge it after they look at it from a few more angles. And that's a thumbs up from the bench, so they will challenge the call on the field. So the umpires on replay duty in Manhattan will now review the play from all available angles in order to make Ladies the final and decision. Gentlemen, the Mets have decided to challenge. All right, so here's play. one final look at it. Now remember, there has to be indisputable video evidence in order to overturn the call. He was called safe and probably could go either way, but I don't think there's enough right here to change the call. And we'll get our answer here as it appears the umpires have made their decision and the headset comes off. And Upon the runner is safe review, at first as originally called, so they will lose the, the ability to challenge for the remainder of the game. Into the box, Ryan Hennigan as he lifts it in the air to right field. Cespedes is there to gone. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Michael Saunders will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number five, Michael Saunders. Pulled toward right center field. Calling for it, Conforto. And the inning is over. Billy Strand won. They're down five to one. Hector Neris is on now yet again this season as this will be his 95th appearance of the year. Wow. Here's the catcher Travis Darno. He scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Pereira will slide over and put this one away, and that's out number one. First baseman. And that brings up the catcher T.J. Rivera. He's working on a three-hit ball game right now. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. A, a fastball that just misses inside. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. He's set. Here's the 2-2. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. Well, what a night for him. He's now 4-4 four for four with that base hit. Up next for the Mets, catcher Robert DeSalman. Stepping in now, Robert Gesellman looks at a slider over the outer half for strike two.
ready with the one and two. Now a bunt attempt here. And they will smartly make sure this stays foul. So he fails in his attempt there and becomes the second out of the inning. Brandon Nimmo. And here's the former first round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. 0 for 3 with an RBI in this one. Grounded to first. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, sometimes you make the perfect pitch and you still give up a base hit. That ball is down, and he just scooped it out and drove it through the infield. In now, Gavin Cicchini. That's in there on the outer half, one and two now. Ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. I like the pitch right there. Got him to chase a fastball out of the zone. I'd come back with it again. Getting a few steps off the second there. Now the pitch. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Swung on and lifted down the left field line. Kendrick on the move. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Two left for the Mets. They lead this one, though, 5-1. to one. Back in Queens at City Field as we get set for the top of the ninth inning in this one. Digging in the switch hitter, Cesar Hernandez. And Dan, he and his fellow top-of-the-order hitters haven't really offered much help for this lineup so far. No, your one, two, three guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action, and they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see if it happens. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. The next three, two. Sent on the ground out to second. Flores is there. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Third baseman number seven. A reminder that coming up immediately after the broadcast, we'll have full highlights from our ball game here at City Field. Now at the plate, Michael Franco. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Payoff pitch one more time. And this is lined right back up the middle. On to first, and now the Phillies are down to their final out. Up next for Philadelphia. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt. And it's back to even at two and two. He executed that one-two curveball pretty well. I think it's right where he wanted it to end up, but he couldn't get him to chase at it. We'll see what they go with now after that didn't work out. High in the air out to center field. And he'll put this one away for the final out. And the Mets have taken the rubber match of this three-game set as this ball game is over. Hey, it always feels good to win a baseball game, but when you can win one at home in front of your home crowd, all those fans cheering, this is a good win for this team. Tonight's game comes to an end. Five to one, the final score. Rafael Montero takes the win on the mound, his second of the year, as he gives up only two hits in five innings of work. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Five runs. On 14 hits, no errors. Now the 2-2, a swing and a pop-up. Perez, Santana, Santana makes the catch. Ball 
whole game. The Indians have won the American League pennant. And Cleveland, for the sixth time ever, you will have a World Series. The Indians are the champions of the American League.